What's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a kaboom on a trampoline. First off, I got a new mic, so hopefully this sounds better. This is probably one of the easiest tricks to learn, but it's hard to get the timing for your feet because some people hit them too late and some people hit them too early. So I'm going to teach you how to get the right timing to hit your feet. So let's get right into it. So the kaboom is a really simple trick. Now a lot of people have trouble getting the timing for their feet right. A lot of people hit their feet too early or hit them too late, so you gotta put it in the middle of both of it. What helped me in the beginning was watching my feet until they hit the trampoline. Watch them the whole time, like this. And make sure you're hitting with your heels and you're just snapping down. You want to do it fast, but not too fast. If you snap them too fast, you'll be trying to flip before you even leave the trampoline, so it make it really hard to get height. But if you snap them too late, you won't get as much spin. When you hit your heels down, make sure your leg is straight. Don't have your legs buckle or anything. Make, the, make sure they're straight. And it might hurt your heels a little bit, but if you wear socks, you should be fine. Also, you can either jump a little bit forward or start towards the back of the tramp. So this is what it looks like jumping forward. And then this is what it looks like starting from the back of the tramp. Super simple and super easy. Don't try to rush it too fast, because that will ruin your spin. All you have to do is make sure you're smacking and grabbing your legs and pulling them over your head, just like a Cody. Kabooms and Cody's are pretty similar on how you have to make your own momentum. So once you get your kabooms down, practice doing this. Try to do as many as you can so you get the sense of hitting down hard. And once you're ready, you can move on to bigger and better tricks like double kabooms, triple kabooms, and whatever else. It's all about the timing, and hopefully in those slow motion clips you could see how simple and easy it is. So good luck to you guys. Hope this helped you guys. It's one of those tricks that it takes a while to get, but you just need to practice it. It took me like a week to get it perfect, but it's really easy. So yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for tomorrow's tutorial, and I'm out.